My name is Raul Montes Jr. and I'm a civic activist throughout Chicago. I want to say a few words why we're here in solidarity to raise uh, and address a challenging concern regarding uh, John Pena who was slain almost two years ago in the month of October. Uh, it was actually October 2008, 20, two, October 28, 2018. Um, he was murdered on the south side of Chicago due to gun violence. As we see here in Chicago, the carnage continues. Every day you hear the spike of violence. It's gun violence, it's people getting murdered, even children, and it goes on. So to this day, John's case is, I wanna say, a cold case. There's a lot of discrepancy. They have somebody, they've arrested somebody, but they haven't charged them with murder to my understanding. It's been already two years already. There's no closure for the family. We're here in outrage, we're here in Little Village. The biggest problem here, one of the biggest problems is our Cook County State's Attorney, Kim Fox, who doesn't upgrade charges, doesn't charge anybody with murder. As you can see, the jail is half empty already. She keeps on releasing these prisoners. She's not, she's very, she laxes on gun possession law. It's horrible to have a State's Attorney that doesn't represent us adequately. We're tired of the violence here, not only in Little Village, but throughout the city of Chicago. Unfortunately, our mayor also has to do with it also, Lori, Lori Lightfoot. She doesn't, she allows these, I call them uh, uh, pretty much these rioters that are out there causing all this crime. It, 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 it's terrible. It's just ongoing. It's, it's every day. I mean, they're called terrorists. And you know what? I blame the state's attorney, uh, Kim Fox's office. I also blame Mayor Lori Lightfoot's office. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, they want to defund the police, both of them. I mean, it's an outrage. I mean, you got to have, you have to restore law and order. In this case with John Pena, he was, I believe, 15 or 16 when he was murdered. It was October 28th. It was horrendous. The family is just, I mean, they're, 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 they're suffering every day. There's no closure. I mean, we get this guy, there was surveillance video of him as he ran after the shooting. I mean, they charged him, I believe, with just an EEW. I mean, it's just... There's no closure for them. And we're here, like I said, once again in solidarity because this is a pivotal move. The next court case is November 5th. And we want justice. We want justice for John Pina. He was one of my students when I was substitute teaching. I mean, we're here because we're trying to raise vigilance that we need change and we need change the right way. We need everybody to unseat Kim Fox. She's not doing her job. She's very lenient. She uh, doesn't represent the city adequately or the county, neither our mayor. So we want justice. So we're here once again in solidarity. We want to raise vigilance for John Pena's case. And we want anybody that could come out and give any information that could lead to the arrest and conviction of uh, this heinous crime. Today, we're offering a $5,000 reward for anybody that could give any information that could lead to the arrest and prosecution of the perpetrator involved in this in this crime, in this murder, actually. So what I want to do is, I just want to elaborate a, a little bit more about, in the city, we have over, what, 2,900 already shootings. We have over 500 homicides. It's just spiking every day. And we need change in the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. So that's my point. It's a pivotal move. Next court case is November 5th. And I'm just reiterating on this because we need change and we need to bring awareness to this case. And we need justice for John Pena. So right now I'm going to pass the floor to a um, Cook County um, candidate for state's attorney, Mr. Pat O'Brien. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to the Pena family. This happens far too often where communities that are at risk have cases where their children are killed and there's no justice for them. John Pena is just one of many, but obviously he's more than a statistic. He is someone loved by mother, by father, by friends, by his brothers and sisters. The state's attorney initially charged murder in this case, then inexplicably dropped those charges and charged only a gun charge. The state's attorney's office has refused to give an adequate explanation for their actions to the Pena family. This community deserves the respect and attention like any community in this city and county. 
The fact that we're not in Winnetka or Northfield shouldn't change the behavior of a prosecutor toward the family of the victim. They need to have answers. They need to know why a murder charge, which initially was placed, gets dismissed. And like the 100 murder arrestees that the Chicago Police Department presented to Kim Fox for charges last year, where she failed to charge, all of us are more at risk because of the murderers who are out on the street. For the Pena family, it's more than just a number. It's more than a statistic. It's one of their loved ones. And we've got to give him justice and the family closure. This has to be a situation where Kim Fox is called to answer. She doesn't deserve another four years in office. We'll all be the worst for it and the communities will all be more suffering for it. Thank you, I'm Pat O'Brien. Now I just wanna have um, somebody in the family might wanna say a few words. Hi everyone, my name is Radimus. Hi guys, my name is Radimus and I am the uncle of John Pena. And not only do we want justice for John, we want justice for everyone that has been murdered in Chicago. And um, it's very unfortunate that a lot of cases are still unsolved. There's a lot of family suffering and this is the time where we all need to unite and find a solution and we definitely do not need Kim Fox in office uh, because she is not a good asset for our city. She is someone that won't help communities solve all those cold cases and we need Pat O'Brien in the office. Thank you. Now, uh, Radames, R-A-D-A-M-E-S, Pina, P-I-N-A. Now I want to also uh, introduce another community activist that's very helpful throughout the city. He helps me out, one of my colleagues, Mr. Frank Coconati. Yeah, I'll be very quick. Um, the uh, Hispanic community in Chicago is not getting the resources it deserves from the uh, Cook County State's Attorney's Office. We asked candidate Pat O'Brien to come with us, the family, and I asked him to come here today. Um, because we want to know what he'll do, and he's answered those questions, but he was asked to come here because we were getting no results from the Cook County, the present Cook County State's Attorney, Kim Fox. Um, it, it seems to me, as, as me and Raul have been going throughout the city, that the Hispanic community is being ignored. I mean, every time there, uh, there's a, there was a nurse shot, there, this young man was shot, there's been a girl, I mean, this it, it's going on and on. And, and there's been no follow-up. Uh, Alberto Bacanagra, uh, a community activist, was killed two years ago on camera, on film, given to her office, and nothing's been done. So I can't tell you how important it is to know, the public should know, that we asked Pat O'Brien to come here. The family asked, I asked, Raul asked, because we feel the Hispanic community is getting ignored and not given the proper resources from Kim Fox's office. Thank you. Sir, what's your last name? Can you spell it? Coconati, C-O-C-O-N-A-T-E. Why do you suppose uh, the Hspanic community is not getting prosecutions of violent crime from uh, State's Attorney Kim Fox? She doesn't need their vote. So I guess the vote's not strong enough that, that she gives it enough attention. She figures they're going to get her vote anyway. That's my opinion, and that's others' opinion. She's fo always focused on high-profile cases like Juicy Smollett, other high cases. She hasn't even addressed half the African-American needs. But she does enough to get the vote, and that's what it's all about with her. It's not about helping people. It's about getting the vote. As a community activist, have you sought to speak with any of the attorneys, assistant state's attorneys? I've, I've emailed. I've called her office. We've asked her. We invited her. We invited her to this. To this yeah. She doesn't come. She doesn't even answer us. We've invited her in the last two years, the, the shooting in uh, UIC, when um, 
The young lady was shot. The guy just was released by Kim Fox. The young lady in the parking lot? Or? Yes, yes. He we were there. We asked Kim Fox. Pardon me? Did you say he was just released? He was released. I think it was around Thanksgiving. And I forgot his name. I don't know. I can't give you all the details, but it's it's well known throughout Chicago. The young woman was a, a student. He just got off the train from jail. She, she released him. She released him. We invited her to that press conference. That young that that man, as soon as he got out of jail, went and raped and killed this woman. We asked Kim Fox. We asked the mayor, which I know the mayor is busy. But we've tried to get Kim Fox to come with us into the community here. She doesn't come. We've asked her to come down 26th Street. We've asked her to come into this little village, Pilsen. She ignores this area. And that's why we reached out to Pat O'Brien. Do you think the Hispanic community will still vote for Kim Fox on November 3rd? I can't tell you how people vote, but I think I think they're disgusted with her. I think, I, I, can't, I can't really tell you that. I think, I, but I think the Hispanics that are voting are, are tired. And they are looking for change. Anything else? You think, uh, you think, uh, I think, I think, I think he's, he's a qualified lawyer. He's a, he's a working lawyer. Of course I think he can. I, 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 the, the, he, just by listening to his his speeches, just by looking on his website, he's a qualified lawyer. He has hands. She she doesn't even sound qualified to be the Cook County State. The whole all you have to look at is the Juicy Smollett case. It's a farce. She was leaking information. She was she was uh, 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 making deals. I mean, this woman is an embarrassment to Chicago right now. So you're endorsing Pat O'Brien? I'm not endorsing anybody. I'm just here. I I want what's right for the community. And you asked about voting. I think people in general are just in Chicago are just tired, Kim Fox. Just in, tired. I'm very disgusted with it, as you can tell. But um, she's she's just she's just not doing the job. Who are you voting for on November 3rd? When I get in that vote, that's my business. But I'm leaning toward Pat O'Brien. Anything else? Thank you. I just want to say one last thing. Mr. Pat O'Brien is very well qualified. He's a, he's a retired judge. He uh, had, uh, I believe, 700 state's attorneys working under him. He's got experience with the criminal justice system, system, the court system, everything. So I believe that we need change, and I think this is a pivotal move, and I think that we need synergy now. We need people, everybody to come together, and we need to make change, and we need justice for John Pena and for everybody else who's been murdered in all these cold cases, not only throughout the city of Chicago, but throughout the county. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.